I relate to this because I have a lot, I have had and still have some anger about injustice in the world, but I've learned two big things about it. One is that I have massive amounts of grief about it, and when I'm angry, I'm actually choosing not to feel the grief, um, because I have some emotions in me about being treated very unjustly in my life. Um, and that's probably why I'm so hesitant to feel about the injustice. The other thing is that in the world today, we're so hooked on justice. It's all about the justice. And um, a really big, important thing that I learned was um, something that the slave spirits learned, and that's about God. If, if we actually have faith and trust in God as being a loving God, and that the laws of God are actually loving, even though at times we feel like it's not. Um, if we build a relationship with God, those things become clear. You know, um, Mahatma Gandhi, when he was on earth, said, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and to me that's a huge statement, because what it does is it tells you that raw justice as what it's portrayed in the world today is not going to work because there's so much things that have, so many things that have happened on this earth today that are unjust and unloving that if we perpetuate the un injustice, we just create more injustice. So if you have a feeling you're the, you're what I would call the angry activist. And what I mean by that is the person who feels angry about the external things to themselves going on in the world. And as Mary just pointed out to you, Mary feels exactly the same way as this. Now, what that is driving is some very deep personal emotions of hurt within yourself that you are using these external events to cover over. And the key for you is to allow yourself to start feeling the personal emotion you feel about your own life that these events are triggering. Do you understand what I'm saying by that? So in other words, let's say you notice something external to yourself in unjust. Oh, the politicians raised my tax and then went on a holiday. Now that feels unjust. So if I'm in the political scene and I'm looking at the political scene, I feel there's a deep injustice in that. But in reality, that's just connecting to some deep injustice in my own life, in my own childhood. And what I'm doing is, is externalising my anger. I'm looking for something outside of myself to blame so that I don't have to feel my own hurt about my own life in that situation. Does that make sense? The irony is that when I choose to feel my own hurt in my own life, you'll find that that will actually finish up lessening even the external event at the soul level. The reason why is that at the moment, if I don't choose to feel my own anger, I am projecting anger on the world and making the world a more angry place, not a less angry place. All the, ang the anger projected like that is actually an aggression. It's actually damaging to the whole planet. Us, being, us um, me included, being angry about all of this injustice. Um, and the way God has designed it is that if we do deal with this stuff within ourselves, it does have an impact on everything around us. And really, when, only when we're in a true state of love, in harmony with God, that's the only way we're going to change any of these things. Because there is injustice in the world, for sure. But by being angry, we're actually wanting to punish in that emotion. And it's a, if you think about our anger, our anger generally is driven by this desire to blame, desire to punish, desire... We think it's a desire to make things better, but actually, because we have this desire within us to blame or punish, we're actually, right at that moment, making it even worse than it is, not better than it, than it could be. So, that's a major issue that we're facing. 